In the past I have created some videos where I show you how I grow fly larvae to feed my fish. So in the same line, last night it was raining and I thought I would take a moment to go in the garden and collect the snails that are eating my vegetables. And here is a result of only 10 minutes of collection. So yes, I don't use any pesticide of any sort, so as you can imagine, the snails and slugs are quite happy in my garden. That's the reason why it's always a good idea to spend a few minutes to go in the garden when it's raining by night. That's the time where uh, the snails and the slugs are out and to collect a few to reduce the population. And now I will show you how I use those free proteins to feed my trout. So here the aim is obviously not to 100% replace uh, the fish food by some snails, but is to reduce a bit the quantity of uh, fish pellets I use and to add some vitamins and other nutrients to the diet of my trout. By doing so, I transform a garden problem into trout flesh. And to be honest, if we want to be self-sufficient and get prepared for the coming events, we need to start producing our own fish food. Because the current fish food pellet supply is only going to get more expensive and less available. So let me know your ideas to produce uh, your own fish food and if you have some omnivorous fish uh, such as tilapia, carp, uh, silver perch, plenty of other, of other species that accept to eat some greens. Uh, I think you're going to be interested by this video where I show you how to grow some duckweed in your aquaponic system. And of course, what applies to fish also applies to chicken. And if you want to start aquaponics, you can get the free guide into the description of this video. See you in the next one.